All right, guys, Curtis back in the garage gym. I got an exciting video this week. The reason that this is exciting is because this is the first time that I'm gonna compare a Rogue and a Titan Fitness product where the Rogue product actually costs less. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be comparing the Matador, specifically the Infinity Series Matador Dip Attachment from Rogue Fitness with the Titan Fitness T3 Y Series Dip Attachment. I'm gonna go over the comparison between the two. There is actually one very significant difference uh, and a couple very kind of minor differences, as well as some incompatibility issues on older Titan T3 racks. So the Infinity system I've had for a while, it's a two by three system. Uh, I don't have it in the packaging for you today, but here it is here. And again, this is just the, the Rogue Infinity Series dip attachment. It is for two by three. And again, Infinity is really no longer made by Rogue, but they do still support the attachments. It is two inches deep by three inches wide. And again, it's just a Y series or not even Y-Series, for them it's the Matador Series dip, dip attachment. Use a Schedule 80 pipe with a powder coat going in a two by three material, uh, welded on both sides, and it's a quality piece of kit. Some of the things I've been really critical on in the past with Titan is the fact that uh, one, they uh, tend to be kind of like lower quality on welds, lower quality on powder coat, and then packaging has always been one of those things that's just absolute garbage. You could always count on a Titan Fitness box being completely shredded and you can kind of basically just seeing the equipment outside the box as it was delivered by UPS. That's not the case anymore. And I want to show you guys the new Y3 dip attachment packaging. All I've done is open the top so far. So as you can see, it comes significantly better packed. It showed up and it was banded as well as taped all over. Uh, I did open the box upside down, but not that big of a deal. So we just pop it open. Right off the bat, if you're used to seeing other tight fitness packaging, you'll note that this is significantly better. So we have a spacer box. We have the pin wrapped in its own bubble wrap. And then these giant pieces of styrofoam that are keeping this thing well inside the box, as well as the fact that the box is really thick, showed up with zero damage on it at all. So here's the two attachments side by side. Uh, the biggest difference between these two pieces of equipment is that on the Rogue, it's two inches deep by three inches wide, where on the Titan, it's meant to go on two inches wide and three inches deep. And I'll show you real quick here what I'm talking about. But basically, it goes on the skinny side with the Titan and it goes on the fat side with the Rogue. Uh, other than that, the differences kind of go away. So now when we lay these, one right up on top of the other, you can see that the Titan is a little bit more narrow at the far end, but other than that, it's almost the exact same. So it's the exact same uh, angle up and down. So it's just like a nice straight angle up and down, welded nicely on both sides, just like the Rogue. It's just the angle that they pivot out. is slightly different, which leaves the Titan one about one inch narrower at the end. Another thing of note with the Titan is that it has two little pads of UHMW lining that are actually inside of the bracket that goes onto the power rack. Now, I'm a huge fan of UHMW lined attachments. It doesn't mar up your equipment. So when you put this thing on the rack, it's not gonna scratch up the equipment on this side. Now, Titan could do a little bit better than this if they wanted to. Now, mind you, this is a huge, huge improvement. But if Titan wanted to do a little bit better job, they'd also line the sides with the UHMW. But honestly, this is a step in the right direction. And like I said, this is not like a lot of the older Titan Fitness pieces of equipment. I've been saying it for a couple uh, months now that it seems like everything that Titan's putting out is getting better and better and better in quality, which is outstanding. Because I remember a time where if you had ordered something like this, as you move it around, you would hear all the metal shavings that were left inside. 
uh, when you looked at the welds, you would see cold welds, but that's not the case with this. This piece is nicely welded, it's nicely put together, and again, that UHMW is a little bit of a sweet little extra thing on the side. There is one problem though. So this is a newer piece of Titan Fitness equipment, and this is an old T2 rack. I don't remember the year of construction on this rack, but it's something that you need to consider before you buy this if you already have your T3 rack. Because the hole is going this way, the old T3 racks do not have any holes on the three inch side. So if you try to put this on, there's nowhere for the pin to actually go and you're left with the issue of uh, basically having to drill your own holes. And if you've ever drilled a hole, so you can drill a hole if you want, uh, but if you're gonna drill a hole for five eighths inch hardware, you're gonna need an 11 16 drill bit. And then you're gonna need to take your time and drill it slow because if you've never drilled a hole that big into heavier gauge steel, uh, it's gonna take you a little bit and you don't wanna fry the bit. So now I wanna compare it to the, the Rogue. Now the Rogue is typical Rogue quality, and this is an older one, so uh, any of the dust and dings on it were not from Rogue. Uh, same gusset, same material buildup, two by three, Schedule 80 tubing. It's the exact same thing as the, the new Titan ones. The difference is that if you have the older, if you have the older T3 system, this will actually mount nicely on the rack going this direction. So again, if you were to mount the Titan version, it goes the exact opposite direction. Just verify that you have the holes prior to purchasing. The Matador is a good quality construction item. I really don't think anybody's gonna have any issues breaking it. I don't think that's necessarily what people are looking for. I think the main thing you need to be concerned with is compatibility. The Rogue Infinity Matador fits just fine on the Titan T3 power racks, regardless of when they were manufactured. All right, now for the sake of showing, the only place that the older T3s do have the holes on the three inch side is up at the very top, at the very bottom, and on any of the cross members. Obviously the cross members would put this into the incorrect position. So just to show you fit, I'm gonna throw it up high. Now why I think that this is an especially interesting comparison is because normally when you compare a Rogue and a Titan product, you can count on a couple things. One, the Rogue is probably made a little bit better. Two, the Titan is probably made a little worse. And then the third and the most important part is that usually the Titan is significantly less expensive, but that's not the case with these. Uh, the Titan one is about $89, brand new, shipped to you. Now that does include shipping, so there's a little bit of a hidden cost there with shipping. The Rogue is $83. Um, now right now, when I made this video, the Titan one is out of stock and the Rogue one is in stock. So just keep that in mind. So would I recommend the Titan Y-Series attachment? And the answer is yes, depending. Which power rack do you have? Make sure that you have the holes at the dip height that you need on the three inch side of your Titan T3 or Infinity rack. Would I recommend the Rogue Infinity Series Matador? Absolutely, just make sure again that the rack is compatible. And this is a Titan T3, older construction, and the Matador is perfectly compatible with the side. So other than that, there's really no physical differences other than Rogue is made in USA and Titan is imported from China. I appreciate each and every single one of you that watch my videos every week. And remember, when it comes to your garage gym, you should always make it better, awesome, and of course, badass. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>